be a juggernaut. So a little bit of that invulnerability for Mr. Nisha, who has so often just been this carry that Team Secret can rely upon. But going against the Spectre, it's maybe a little bit concerning uh, if it does get to that late game scenario. That's going to be yeah. OG's way to play. The thing is, Juggernaut's last pick against the Pugna's Decrypify. You also have a, a Batrider Lasso, which goes through magic immunity. So Juggernaut can do the things that he likes, just a split push on the other side of the map without being threatened. All right, let's switch over to my Discord server real quickly as we get ready to hop into this game number one. Team Secret facing off against OG. Me, oh my, oh man, I cannot wait for this freaking game. Uh, it's going to be really awesome. You know, you've, you've got all the things that you could possibly want. It's going to be a Yaps or Tidehunter. Zai playing on the puck, mid one Monkey King, and you called it the Puppy Silencer. Could it be anybody else? Makes sense. How you feeling, Lacoste? I'm feeling good. I just had to, to mute my mic for a second, click the unmute button, but it didn't work. So I was talking about the <laughs> Tide Hunter. Tide Hunter, as position four, it can work. I think in this current meta, you can get away with the really greedy position fours. Yeah. Uh, it, it also feels like that hero, while he does like to get more farm nowadays, I feel like we've been seeing more and more of like those funky... Vlad's decimal builds every now and then, even on the Tide Hunter. Um, now you can build the, whatever on position. Exactly. Four. You, you need a spirit vessel. You need a mech. You need a four staff. You can basically build whatever your team needs. Totally. That's where it needs to be. So we'll see these heroes moving out across the map. Oh, it's, the sound is really bad right now. It's robotic. Okay. It's interrupting. Maybe we should. I'll give you a call, call again. Or we can go back to Skype, huh? <laughs> no, nah, we're never doing that. <laughs> I, just, I just left the call. I'm done with him. As soon as he says that, I'm out of here. See you later, nerd. Um, <laughs> uh, I just I just muted you in the middle of you talking because you said Skype. That's that's what happens there. <laughs> yeah, we don't say that word. Uh, Ventrilo, Skype, uh, no, TeamSpeak. Uh, uh -uh. Teams, teams still use TeamSpeak. Oh, look at this. Anna. he got the, the rare specter, the red. Oh, it's so spooky. We'll have to just watch because Abaddon is going to be throwing out those mist coils consistently. And already getting the pressure on. Pushing into Zai whenever possible. Look at him. He's just ready. Although Yaps are here with the gush. Needs to be a little bit careful. So no tail is going to back out. You know what I want to see from this tight hunter? Agony What's Scepter. That? That's the build that fits oh. Yapsor. Like, <laughs> I love his I like it. lion with brown boots Agony Scepter build. Man, look at this Spectre set. We know what Ana spent his money on from TI. Holy crap. Look at this thing. He's got the relic. He's got the extra little uh, set as well. He picks up Dude. the bounty rune and still getting more money. He's out of here. Click on the magnifying glass. These are all gifts. Oh, are they really? Yeah, shout out to my boy Sproink for gifting it to Anna and Sproink and Sigma 10. Thanks for carry. Who's wait, isn't Sproink? Isn't that one of them? Could be. <laughs> Sproink, yeah, Sproink is no tail. He gifted him the set and said, Thanks for carry. That's great. Oh, I love that. Uh, he's almost about to die just because he keeps on miscoy him up cooldown and he is gonna just deny himself and keeps on healing up the specter this is the new game plan this is how you play dota now guys you literally can't stop him from healing he just does it over and over again he's gonna keep killing himself <laughs> well we'll see how that goes mid lane mid one versus seb and it is gonna be that matchup that we were talking about bat rider against monkey king Definitely Monkey King is going to have a hard time in this lane. Look at the amount of creeps that is pushing in tier 1 tower. Seb has Firefly, but the only one sticky charge. Oh my god, is No-Tail going to kill himself again? That's the real question I have here. We missed First Blood where it is down bottom. Oh, you missed Thompson. First Blood. What's up going? Tell me what happened, man. He died. I, I'm just kidding. I didn't see it either. I was I was listening to what you were saying and following that part of the map. <laughs> That's fair. So, oh, this is the dream silencer with two extra stolen intelligence level one. Mmm, it's tasty. 
Tasty, tasty. Has Arcane it's... Curse early on. The thing is, this uh, Pagna's Decrypify is not gonna be good in lane like this. You're playing against Chug, you're playing against Silencer. Yeah, it's just gonna do more damage to himself if he ends up getting spun on by Nisha. Yeah. Also, the thing about Silencer is, you don't just lose intelligence, especially on Intelligence Heroes, you lose damage. Yeah. You, you lose uh, uh, Spell Amp. It's all these little things that add up. Jerax, it's gonna be forced back again by Puppy. As both Arcane Curse, what was the last word there? And Ana, God, taking a lot of damage here, but they have another round of Mist Coil. And the Aphotic Shield needs to live through it here, and it looks like he is for the moment. And Aphotic Shield turning on his eyes, see if he can live through this, but this might be too much. Had Stick Charges, didn't use them. Uh-oh. Zai finds anyway. the kill. There's no reason to use it like that because you're gonna just waste them and you're still gonna die. It's even worse if you don't die and you can't use the courier to heal up. So sometimes it's just mm -hmm. better to die because he just regioned up, came back back to a lane full HP. Yeah. That's fair. That's a good point. Oh, yeah, Absor. Needs to be careful there, buddy. Ana's on top of him. Find the kill, though. <gasps> it's going to be Ana going down. A second death in just a couple of seconds. This is really bad. He needs to walk back to a lane right now. Yeah. I mean, in, in mid, it's going really well. You can see that Seb has been able to completely zone out the Monkey King. Uh, Monkey King's still managing to get 10 CS, but it's the pressure onto it's the fine. Tier 1 tower completely zoning him out. Of course, he has a, a stronger lane. Batrider for himself, but Monkey King is uh, <laughs> getting Oof. levels. He's level four and a half, which is not too bad. Yeah. Well, I mean, look at this. Ana's walking back to lane, level Walk three, no lane. boots. This is terrible. Oh, look at the no-tail brings the creep wave partway to him. He's like, all right, I'll help you out, buddy. We'll get you there a little bit quicker. But good play by Zai to be able to find those couple of kills there with a little bit of an overextension by OG in the top lane. How about bottom? How's this lane been going so far for uh, for Mr. Nisha? Is he had an okay time? It looks like. Does he have any items? All right, he has some some raid bands and magic wand. I was wondering where his farm is. Pagna, the crib. No. Yeah, but yeah. he has a tango running. He needs to eat another one. Actually, he can, he's gonna die. Oh! It goes down. That's that's level two arcane curse, and the silencer still got the intelligence from that. Yeah, that's big. So already four stolen from Pugna. Man. And Jerex, you gotta be careful too. He's taking a lot of damage here. Does have a salve, obviously, but will be forced back yet again. Top lane, I think, has gone very well for this combo of the Tidehunter and the Puck. Zai right now, 25 and 5. And... Almost able to get the pressure on a no-tail here as well. Gets the silence out and trying to find the kill. Can he deny himself? Yes, he will. And Ana trying to chase down Zai, but he has a bottle and we'll be able to pick up He's this bounty rune off the kill. back of it. It's going to be one, two, three, four bounties. Actually, oh, mid five. One. Five runes, four bounties. Dodges the damage, but it's not quite enough. And Jerex now also taking some harassment. Puppy rotated mid. So they're able to get away with one kill. Zai wanting to finish off Seb here. Misses uphill. And does have another orb in four seconds, but already Seb is going to be at that shrine. And we'll see if Zai can be able to force it out and do some more damage. Nope, he's just going to jump back to this lane. Yep, so with the full aggressive build, 2-0-2, mid one. He's up there. Hard kill to get. Usually this is what Thompson does when he's playing a Monkey King and he does not have a good laning stage. He dies, not, not on purpose though, and he TPs on the side lane and grabs a kill or two and goes back to the mid lane. Yeah. 2,000 gold lead already for Team Secret. Four to two, six minutes in. And I mean, there is still this whole factor of the Spectre lineup and being behind early. Where you're sort of Locking used to it. Lane. You're expecting it. He's going to die again. Man, that's not what you're expecting, though. And I, I can't help but feel like this Pugna is just going to be food all game long. He does not have a good uh, laning stage. As I already mentioned, you're playing against Silencer and Juggernaut. And the top Jeez. lane 
Jesus. Hunting, he's still there. So two kills. That, that's that's how you play it. Like Batrider was dominating his lane, and he realizes that he can't do anything, so he's just playing the the side lane. Batrider yeah. is jungling right now. Interesting. Yeah, he uh, he's gonna try and get this stack up here and see if he can clear through it. Wants to go into the boots of travel. Meanwhile, up here in the bottom lane, Nisha chasing down Thompson, tries to juke through the trees. Nisha has him in the sight still. And they have the silencer in position, so Puppy is gonna get a little bit of a taste of this intelligence. Up to plus eight now, although they are bringing in more heroes and the Cursed Crown is going to connect. It looks like Nisha, seeing if he can buy a little bit of space for Puppy, but doesn't even need to. There's no kill potential on these supports. Like, Jerex and No-Tail just don't do anything right now. Bad Rider is level 6, so they have Lasso, maybe they should play around it. Spectre's still not level 6. Once she hits that Haunt, they can try to outnumber them, but uh, it's a long way. She's actually level 5 after this creep. And not a great time for the Spectre, for sure. Jerex is going to rotate towards the mid lane, uh, but Zai is kind of an impossibility for a kill here. Got so much stats on this puck early on. Has the treads as well as wand and a crown. See if he goes for that Atos build, maybe. Could go for some other more team fight oriented things. I mean, if you're secret right now, you, you've got out to this great lead, 3,000 gold. How do you kind of put the clamps on it? What, what do you need to do to try and uh, continue to control the game? They have level six on Puck, Tidehunter, soon to be level six. Uh, they, they can just keep playing the lanes like this, grab a kill, repeat. They don't have to basically rush anything. They don't have okay. the best uh, sieging potential unless they use a healing ward. So I don't expect tier one towers to fall bottom lane again. On top of him, Thompson getting healed back up. Does have the decrep afterwards and the TP away. That does reveal that, hey, no tail's still in the area, and he does have a TP, but not sure if he's going to be able to quite make it. Can go for the deny play if he wants to, but Omni Slash doesn't quite get off in time, so Nisha gets the kill and another plus two for the silencer. Yeah, I don't think he had the window, actually, to deny himself. Yeah. Ten intelligence stolen, nine minutes in the dream, man. And he's going <laughs> to hit level six right now. Interesting. Global Silence really cost. It was 250 mana before. Now it's 300 level one. So that's kind of kind of bad thing. Definitely. 4,000 gold lead. Go for the spin immediately afterwards. Topson not really anticipating this rotation moving into position and well, he does go for the decrap, but immediately going to get the silence afterwards. And one more hit from Yapsor, and Nisha gets the kill. Pagana is a hero that has the highest intelligence gain in the game. But even Pagana can't afford to lose 10 intelligence in 10 minutes. Yeah. Well, and, and more so than that, it's just like dying over and over again. He's not getting the items that he needs to stay survivable. And ABBA in the later stages is going to need something to break the global silence so he can be that save engine. Right now he has a branch. Like, no tail is broke as a joke. This is so difficult. And even with him just staying in his lane, they can't do anything. He walks back in and he's just about to die again, it feels like. Well, they can just he should think about chasing it. Bad and doesn't well, matter no if tail. he denies himself. He still gets the intelligence. 14 intelligence, man. Uh, you know what we need? We need... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the stolen intelligence on the heroes. Okay, the lost intelligence. Bad yeah, Rider. Yeah. Well, global used, and that's going to stop the pressure. They did kill off Zai in the mid lane while it was happening, so that's a pretty big win for OG in that fashion. One of the highest net worth heroes in the game at this point. Uh, so, able to get that kill on Jerex. Definitely what you want. And now they are also going to have Spectre level 7. Does not have Haunt leveled up yet. Stick charges are here also, so Ana should live through this. But it looks like they're going to stop the pressure here as everybody else moves into the position from secret to defend mid. Yeah, look at the build on Anna. Two raid bands, magic wand, a lot of survivability on top of soul ring. This is the item that you don't usually see on the hero because uh, she's struggling right now. And man, what is what is Feedson doing on, on bottom? Uh, he needs to swap <laughs> lane. There's really no point of him getting back there and just uh, feeding away kills 
Yeah, this has been disgusting. I, he just keeps on. We talked about it in the draft that this is something that could happen. I mean, is there any uh, thought to the idea that he's like just trying to make space for Anna? Because uh, Anna it has been able to catch up a little bit at least. Or is this just? I don't know. I, I'm trying to find the, the good part to this, but I'm, I'm not finding I much. I just can't. There's, <laughs> I mean, you can think about it. He's buying time for Spectre, but Spectre's not farming that much. I was talking about the Soul Ring, which gives her uh, extra HP region so, so she can farm the jungle, some even more survivability, and extra mana so she can use the Spectral Dagger. Right. No, no pickoffs yet. But, but we can have the dream number again in this game 22 3 we just need to pray everybody out there get your prayers on although i think that probably some of the og fans are, are hoping that that's not going to happen um as we do have zai moving into position and with that haster and finds himself a tasty little seb the bird flying on his owl this look like he's going to be able to walk away from them for the moment does firefly last long enough He's going to be stuck here on the low ground, actually, in a second. So Seb can't get up to the high ground. And Thompson now completely left alone. Yamsur does have Ravage if he wants to use it. Looks like they're going to take down the Pugna Ward first, though. Now the chase coming for more mid one. Calls off the recharge. So just Jarek's going down there. Still Silencer. 18 int stolen. I mean, this is going to start being a problem for, like, Abba just having enough mana to cast his spells. He's got 399 mana now. That's, that's not even 400 mana. That's true. <laughs> it really costs you when you, you're dying near the silence. I mean, you can think about, oh, it's a stupid concept, but uh, losing every single point of mana, especially on the heroes that really rely on uh, casting the spells in a team fight. Yeah. Well, and, on and the bottom lane, right though, you have a Juggernaut, level 9, the biggest winner in this game, has drums, is building towards... Yasha right now. Oh, and he is going to try and get some pressure on, but the TPs are moving into position, and mid one is going to stop Seb from chasing. Mid one was hanging around, uh, seeing if he could bait the the Pugna into a bad position, but you can see Thompson is, is staying on his own side of the, the river now. Although, well, as I say that, oh god, Thompson, what are you doing, buddy? What's happening? This ain't right. Yapster drops the Ravage. Actually, they don't decide to chase anymore. Okay. Ravage used. This is pretty good for OG. Although, as I say that, they dropped the coil, and now the turnaround coming, puppy. He's here for your end. Get away. Everybody trying to run, trying to hide. The spin is there, and it is eventually going to be a kill onto Jerex. Mid one finds the big stun onto Seb, and the Omni Slash chase forward, trying to take down this Batrider, gets up onto the high ground and hits him from the low ground. Nisha stuck in the trees, but it's no problem for this juggernaut. Man, it looked like a really bad Ravage. It actually was. But then Puck came in with your Kane rune, and he's going to have a Dream Coil in 15 seconds. OG wanted to try something happen after that Ravage because they felt like it didn't do anything, and it backfired because Puck just showed up. And he has a Blink Dagger right now. So another ulti, another uh, initiation soon. Scan is going to connect to runes. It's going to be four bounties for Team Secret. Whew. Man, this is this is really rough for OG. I mean, every avenue that they would normally have to try and get back into this game has not worked for them yet. Um, you can see they're just trying to buy whatever time that they can. Jerex farming out Ancients with their, or rather, the hard camps with his ulti. Uh, you got Spectre trying to get towards the Radiance, but it's going to be a while. Yeah, we should try reconnecting. Okay, well, in the meantime, before we do that, Looks like they found Seb. The coil cracks, and he also will go down. Haunt was used there as well as they try and chase forward and actually going to be able to find themselves the kill on the puppy. That's huge. Hana gets a nice chunk of change for that, but he might end up paying for it as the chase is coming, and Ana eventually going to get ran down. Maybe the Mist Coil, maybe the Aphotic Shield, maybe enough to keep Ana alive, but no. It looks like they eventually will run this. <gasps> Spectre, are you kidding me? Ana, he gets out of there. No, but he is eventually going to get brought down. That was the Monkey yeah. King putting the finishing touch on it. And now Jarek just tries to drop down the Bramble Maze and run away. Man, Team Secret playing so well, playing so aggressive. OG try to try to make something happen. If Spectre didn't die there, it would be worth it. Also, he killed a silencer, got 400 gold from that kill. Yeah. 
Well, that's great for them, but then obviously losing his life afterwards, that's the, the sort of tough part about it. All right, let's do a recall real quick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a quick little call. All right. Start voice call. Beautiful. As Nisha gets the pressure on to this tier one tower in the top lane. Level 12 has the healing ward down as well, but bottom lane is where they're going in, and they want to try and take down Seb yet again. You can look at Ana here. Just stays around for one more creep, but doesn't look like they're going to be able to punish that little bit of greed from Ana. So we'll head back halfway towards the relic. Roughly. Look at Yapsor. He comes to a bottom lane, uh, uses Anchor Smash, stealing the farm from his uh, carry <laughs> player, mid player, whatever you want to call him in this game. And he's building towards Lotus Orb. Lotus Orb is going to do amazing against the Batrider, against the Pagna, also against the Cursed Crown. And Thompson with another death. He died eight times in this game. 0 8 1. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah. I mean, and again, that was the last pick for OG. I, I guess, to me, the thing that really stands out was I saw that Pugna pick, and I was like, all right, there's the potential that he dies a lot. I guess their thought was that if they're able to get out to a lead in the laning stage, then he's going to be that engine that allows them to just, like, run from lane to lane to lane and get towers. But if you fall behind, it just completely falls apart. I mean, considering that uh, Monkey King was mid, they could have... Uh just easily put him on a mid lane because he does well against monkey you can always use the cryptify to counter his uh, right clicks and you deny a lot of farm with it also once you hit level six there's a lot of kill potential yeah lane break pushback it's not looking like it's quite going to be enough though and the omni slash is out they don't have a decrep seb chase down they do have a spin if they wanted to use it in two seconds but it looks like already everybody else is away and so OG is going to back out and be able to do it safely. But yeah, Puppy 26 intelligence stolen at 18 minutes. <laughs> but he doesn't have a single item. Oh like no, oh no, around. Ravage. The turnarounds, the catch here on it, trying to live through it. The stick, they able to do it, but they don't have the global quite yet. They did not decide to use it. And so Ana is going to be able to live. They had about a second left when they went for that initiation before the global was back up. And now if they overstay their welcome, OG looking to try and make a turnaround come, but they have the global now used and seeing if they can take down Thompson. Five heroes just running at him and Thompson, uh, sensing the irony of the situation is just gonna laugh his way to the grave. I mean, it's 12,000 network lead for Team Secret. They're gonna take this uh, tier two tower. OG realizes they can't really defend it, but uh, it's still not over. If they overextend, if Spectre gets the Radiance in the next couple of minutes, they get one good team fight. It's Spectre and they, they can come back into this game. Uh, you can see Jerex just trying to split push, yeah. cut the waves. In the meantime, Seb finds Puppy, but who's finding who here? He's gonna try and TP out, does go down. So Seb manages to get the kill and now maybe that overextension you were talking about. They do have Ravage back up in 80 seconds, but Yapsor able to be that big meat shield in front of the juggernaut now the flame break to be able to get the pushback the app store looks like he might be feeding away his life as well as they do have the tide hunter caught and killed off uh -huh. they picked so up another big bounty kill. runes yeah he was a uh, hundred gold short but they picked up two bounties and he had enough just to buy a plate mail in the side shop so no gold lost okay well anna's getting closer to that relic I mean, how much does the Spectre Radiance change things in this game for uh, OG? Is it the type of thing where you can immediately start taking fights afterwards? Not necessarily. Like, they... I think they... have a... Uh, with Spectre, you always have a secured late game. But, right. Uh, it's not gonna be that easy. You have uh, Monkey King, Juggernaut, uh, Puck, like Puck, who's extremely farmed as well, and uh, basically, it's... A lineup with one core because this pagna is not gonna scale oh, a little bit of retribution there they use everything and ana able to get the kill onto puppy nisha meanwhile shows up yaps are there as well decides to use the omni slash now onto seb and the turnaround is going to be there 
pulls the aggro over to the creeps with the omni but not enough to make the difference thompson also looking like he's gonna die and wisely anna said he did not want to be there anymore they dropped the ravage to find the kill onto thompson but darkwell is stable to get out meanwhile top lane monkey king able to find himself anna and the poor old specter actually maybe he's gonna be able to turn this back around he's going in on this i i don't know can they actually find this kill anna has seven sick charges. charges yep but goes over to the shrine instead and monkey king now showing up but they don't have vision of him mid one drops the wukong cement with the global but th that's not gonna work so both big, big ultimates ulti. used yep they still don't have the radiance if they had the radiance and the haunt they would have tried to seek a fight right now but uh, they want to delay the game as much as possible this is going to be the second uh, tier two tower on a mid it's it's tough for og but they can still come back into this game yeah this doesn't not feel like good exactly <laughs> like it's one of those games where they can make a comeback because it's a specter right let's take a look at the dota 2 win probability they're they're putting it at 97 percent so there is still a three percent chance there according to dota plus um and of course getting this radiance is going to be a big win for them is it is coming out on the courier right now but also the dark willow is oh no they're, they're sending over the dark willow items first which means that specter isn't going to have the radiance for haunt he needs to move over to the courier immediately and it looks like they are going to be able to get it now so specter gets the radiance done they have the yule scepter done on the dark willow no tail moving into position tops in there as well they've already found one that's going to be a dead mid one uh, this is problematic and a half Anna moves into position does not have haunt but it's just going to run forward and try and take down nisha lotus orb to turn it does have omni slash back off cooldown 20 seconds so a couple big ultimates going to be done there in a second as Topson takes out that healing ward but will not be initiated upon so no monkey king for 30 what can they do in this timing they stop the rush at least just farm. They have boots of travel on Bat Rider, Spectre with the Radiance. Uh, Haunt is going to be online soon. They want to <coughs> delay this as long as they can. Also, Pugna is going to need to play a different game. Like, he is not core anymore. You could think of Pugna as a support right now. Just use the Cripify on a target that uh, he uses Omni Slash on. He's also going to need to have an item. Probably, I, I would go for Lotus Orb after this Glimmer Cape. So you can save people, uh, you can get rid of the global silence, so, and then you can use the Decrypify. It's a great item. It also gives you a lot of survivability armor against two cores, Monkey King and Juggernaut. Right. Well, it definitely has that same type of feeling that we saw at TI, where it's Ana versus the world. And right now, OG doing everything they can to enable a mid one. Just a little bit out of vision there. <laughs> <laughs> that looked funny from our angle, but he was not quite in vision, and they do find the puck. Zai, able to get the Lotus Orb to take it off immediately, so now in some trouble is this Dark Willow, able to go into the Shadow Realm, and now the chase forward with the Haunt out as well. Already going to go with the Omni Slash, but not enough to be able to find these kills onto the rest of them. Ravage to turn it. Ana, is he going to live through it all? He's able to get the stick charges off, and now he's living. The decrep, everything comes into position, and they keep Ana alive just ever so slightly. Monkey King is back in the midst of this, but with the decrep, they're still going to be able to roll, slowly run these heroes down. Ana's chasing does have another dagger in just a second if he can get into range anisha is going to be able to find the spin away but the big win and secret lose three that's nicely done this is exactly what they needed dota plus what do you know three percent three percent my ass dude they're doing it 18 now the huge turnaround that comes yet again a seven thousand gold lead is all that secret stand on after being so far ahead and these Roche fights, ever so often, are just the bane of these teams that are in the lead. And they still haven't been able to secure it. And now you start to wonder, how, how do you really close out this game? Maybe take advantage of, of Haunt being down for a while? Yeah, they don't have uh, the, the best sieging potential. The one way they can siege is to have uh, either three heroes dead inside of OG, and uh, or try to siege with the... Uh, with the healing ward, which is not not the greatest thing since you're playing against Bat Rider. Oh, and they move forward looking for Topson again, but won't jump on him. I mean, Topson did so much in that last fight for all the crap that we were giving him for dying so many times earlier. Those decreps on the, the Spectre made all the difference in the world. Ana throws out the dagger. 
Going to reveal what's happening in the mid lane now. We find no tail. He's going to pop his ultimate already. The three person dream coil. Pretty good, but where's the follow up? Ravage is not up again for 40 seconds. I don't know if they can take this fight. They need to try and burst down on it in time, but with all of these heals coming from no tail, the aphotic shield, all of the stick charges, oh, Thompson man. even giving them all the regen in the world. This Spectre is not going to die that easily. Has the Radiance, is living through all of this, and Secret still looking for an answer. They need to pop the Shrine because uh, this Pagna is out of mana. Shrine ready in two seconds. They can take a fight. 10 seconds for the Haunt, which is going to give them the vision. They need to drag this fight as long as they can because they don't have enough burst damage they need to try to isolate the kill ideally it would be a silencer if specter jumps on him and uh, tries to get out or just force force a global silence and then they take a fight they do need to be careful though because if if the uh, global silence comes out during the haunt you might not be able to reality to his illusion and no tail is going to have his ultimate pop, tries to run away here, but the slowdown is going to come, and so they will lose the ABBA. 35 seconds, no buyback. That's basically the best kill they can get besides Spectre, even though it sounds stupid because it's only position 5, a baton, but he does so much in a team by just using constantly a Photic Shield on a Spectre and Miss Coil to keep her alive. Yeah. Well... They do have global still up. Haunt is available, but it feels like they're going to want to save that for what's looking like it's going to be a high ground offense. Although, we say that. Seb moves into position. Ravage comes out. That Batrider is just dead, and looks like Jerex might be following soon afterwards. Last word is out as well. Ana takes down the tower down bottom, so some more space created. They drop the Dream Coil. Everything used. Aphotic Shield takes off the stun from Jerex, but he will get taken down by the Silence in the end. And in the meantime, Nisha continues his work trying to take down Roche. While Spectre got all of the tier 2 tower and now is going to farm out, looks like, the rest of the jungle. Although, looks like he has to back out afterwards. Thompson, Glimmer Cape trying to run. And there's Zai. God, the finds his man. In history. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. And they get back like, home. oh, I'm going to let this guy live. And then Monkey King. <laughs> Shows up, uses Boundless Strike just to secure the secure the stun and secure the kill for him. Have you ever seen a Malk Award on a mid player? Zero, twelve, and seven and seven. Uh, I was in. Sorry to game. wonder if this is like, possible. Mal you were. Vanomancer. Yeah, I was in that game, man. I, I felt it. <laughs> How did you in the game? Were you like, can you please stop feeding? Nah, you don't. You you, you completely trusted Jacob. That's the thing. <laughs> okay, you don't fair question enough. him. <laughs> he was the pretty much the only guy who who could control misery back in the days. Both him and Playmate. Really? Yeah. Tough, tough cookie to crack, Mr. Misery. Well, this definitely doesn't have the feeling of a 10,000 net worth lead for Secret. Uh, a lot of times when we see that, the game is basically over with them just constricting the map and destroying their opponents. But in this game, it feels a little bit different. And the only thing that bothers me is that OG has one core because this Pagna is building all these utility items, but he needs to build them, which means that he's not gonna, gonna scale. On the other side, you have a Juggernaut and you have a Monkey King, plus extremely farmed Pug. Yeah. Well, Inspector now, 30 minutes in, is about to hit that level 20 talent, 500 health, and also building toward the heart. So it does feel like it's sort of that strange scenario of the solo core. Maybe, like, Jerex can provide a good amount of utility with, like, all of his spells that he's got and going for that cheap stick. Uh, but it's going to be a little bit. It's going to take a while. More than a little have bit. have GPM talent yet. Yeah. Die. He's killing those illusions. That's some that's a decent gold. You gotta love it. But yeah, it, it feels like this Aegis from Secret is not the same type of like completely shut out the game type of Aegis. They're gonna move along this top lane now and see if they can pressure the tower. Still have two and a half minutes left on it. Well, down bottom, it's just OG trying to Wait this out. They have a BKB done on the Batrider. Any other big items that have come out recently? Yeah, Batrider only needs uh, 
raid band to complete the full set. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> this is a little bit funky, isn't it? I don't think he's going to get a Wraith Band. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> All right, smoke up. OG, they reveal themselves with Jerex. The TP coming in from Seb. They have the Wukong's command already down. They missed the Boundless Strike. Ana is in the midst of all of them. They do drop down that globe. We'll have the Mantis style afterwards if they want to use it. Benisha left completely right, alone. That's, that's Aegis already dead. Do they have another round of this? Seb, he's somehow been able to live through all of this. Now pulling the Monkey King away from the rest of his team. Nisha left completely alone. They have the Ravage available if they want to use it. So the back out is coming. They need to get the hell out of here as the rest of Secret has shown up. Thompson trying to walk away, but will eventually be chased down by Zai, it looks like, as they do have the four staff keeping him alive. Chase forward finds that kill onto Thompson, and Secret able to claim theirs in the end. Lift up there with the Yule Scepter, and Ana gonna play a little bit of interference, but it is Secret up on the high ground. I think they just needed to try to stall game, wait until that Aegis is gone because Juggernaut he dies, he solo died to Spectre with just using a Manta style, right. Yeah, and granted, that does mean that, you know, you use your entire disable to try and take out this this juggernaut as well with the rest of the heroes, but... Well, now they've been able to hold off the game a little bit longer. The creeps were in a good position because all those Radiance Illusions just dealing the damage over time. Can they stop this push from Secret? Yeah, they can because they have no sieging potential. They're going to need to kill yeah. two, three heroes and uh, then go for Raxus. Mid one spots Ana, but they can't do anything. Again, no opening. So another, it's like another three thousand gold built up into the lead. Still to plus Saiyan again now. It's sitting a little bit closer. Fifteen percent left for OG. Secret still looking in control of the tempo of this game, but it does start to feel like each of these fights is getting tougher. Juggernaut still staying so farmed though, and they pull back in one. It's on the Absor. He does have Ravage available, gonna drop it to try and turn around this fight, but do they have enough follow-up? Seb still living through this, pops the BKB and just runs away, he's living! They already have used the coil, but the Omni Slash is gonna finish him off, but now they don't have anything left for Ana afterwards. And this slow burn down, trying to take them down one by one by one, Ana is just gonna get completely eviscerated! There was no heals that came out, and Thompson wasn't healing up Ana, he was trying to take down Nisha! That was never gonna work! The Thompson does look like he is eventually going to get killed off as well. So four Man, die from OG that? in they secret. They tried to go on a Tidehunter who didn't even pop the Ravage in the previous fight. Also, Dark Willow was not in that fight. Not a single spell used. They, this could easily just be a game. Huge mistake done by OG. Uncharacteristic, but Secret taking full advantage and now having to use this buyback on the Spectre feels absolutely horrible. And Secret, where are you going to go now? Wherever they freaking want. Tier 3 going to be assaulted. They still don't have the Batrider up for 15 seconds. And, well, in the meantime, Jarek's just going to end up dying down bottom. Zai finds that pick off. Can they do anything to turn this back around? Ana, Fodic Shield, Chase in. Zai's there as well, though. He boots the travel in, and now they have the coil. Now they have the catch. Ana going to get stunned, but they're just focusing on the buildings for the moment. Okay, Chase down, coming for more. They do take down that healing ward, and Seb going to pull back in this Juggernaut. If they could find this kill, it might start to look a little bit worth it, but I don't know if they have quite enough damage. The heal's coming out, trying to take down. Excuse me, that wasn't a heal. It was another attempt to kill off Nisha, which just does not work. And Secret get out again, scot free. They do this Be over ready. and over again. Man, they OG try to just fight do not have an into answer. Monkey King, Alti. They have really weird fight there from OG. And they lost the uh, mid set of Raxes and tier 3 tower on top. Four bounty runes are gonna get picked by Secret on top of it. Yeah, this is, uh, this is looking like it's all their way. What do we have now as far as this 1%? Yeah, it's back up to where it was. We're at 1% now. It feels like Secret have turned that corner. And with Roche possible to respawn in about 30 or so seconds, OG need to come up with other answers. Right now, that buyback just completely cripples the Spectre. Yeah, even with that uh, heart, I don't think heart is going to do much because yeah. they lack... They lack damage. She's, she might survive. They might drag the game, 
Um, the next item is going to be crucial if it comes to that. Getting a full fly or maybe getting a basher so they can keep people in place because right now they they lack control usually if you look at lineup like this they would not you have dark willow you have bat rider but in in a scenario where they are right now it, it's not looking good yeah it's it's that hard control that they don't really have for another follow-up after the bat rider really like maybe you could go for like a lasso into terrorize but then you're using two ultimates for it and if you're using those big long cooldown spells um, and then you don't get a kill afterwards, it's just it's going to fall apart really quickly. Roche, a minute and five seconds away just about. And God, Nisha's done such a good job of just staying on par and even ahead of this Spectre consistently. He's had an amazing game. And it's Nisha. He's the best or top three best carry players in the world right now and he has been it for yep. quite some time yeah mid one chases for seb forces out another bkb heart is done for the specter and seb going to tp away they break it with the coil and that man is dead so and i feel like dark willow basically didn't do anything in this game yeah it's true uh has not really been able to get anything done no tail trying to hide under the glimmer cape photic shield is there but he will die too and it all happens too quickly the base is going to drop it looks like they're going to try and clear out these creep waves mid if they can topson moving over in a position to take them down meanwhile bottom lane they're also pushing out so just trying to keep creeps out of the base if at all possible topson goes for another round of it and just hoping to try and clear this out. Needs another Nether Blast here mid and actually doesn't take him out. So these creeps are gonna live and he is dead. Thompson goes down the chase forward. Ana with this heart seeing what he can possibly do, but it's not looking like it's gonna be enough. My dog is very upset at the prospects <laughs> of OG winning this game because it's looked like Secret are just gonna be able to continue to stream forward and well, Secret are gonna back out eventually. Yeah, what, what was your dog's name again? It's uh, Luna's mount, uh, hey. mount or? Oh, it's it's Nova. We have Nova and oh. Kaya. <laughs> Nova and Kaya. <laughs> yeah, that was Kaya barking. Believe it or not, Kaya was named Kaya when we got her, which blew my mind. Yeah, you, you needed to call them Kaya and Yasha, or just rename your dog <laughs> Kaya and Sanj. That's probably what I should. Yeah, Sanj is not a good name for a dog, though. Neither is Yasha, really. <laughs> Maybe Yasha's okay. Uh-oh. Ana, run away, my buddy. They're hiding out behind him, seeing if they can live for the moment. And it does look like Ana's just going to stand brazenly in the river, unafraid of anything. Dyer's top barracks are under attack. Yo. Yo. Calm down. Who let the dogs out? And I did the mute thing again, so nobody would know. <laughs> <laughs> Batrider picks up the gem, and into the Roche pit they go secret, taking this one down. Yeah, that's the second Roche cheese and Aegis on Monkey King and on Jug. Jug still sitting on uh, zero deaths. They want to close out this game right now. They're probably going to pop uh, Vukong's command and uh, just try to finish off the Raxes. Oh, man. And they get a DD down bottom. Are they going to be able to steal this away, though? Does not look like... Oh, my God. They're just gone. No tail. His ultimate's going to be popped there for a second. 35,000 net worth lead. Double kill for Zai, who has had what feels to be pretty much immaculate game. Right now, sitting 15, 2, and 16. Man, both Thompson and No Tail have 28 deaths combined. What? Yeah, it ain't good. It, it ain't great. Oh, run away, my buddy. Are they going to find him? No, nope, doesn't quite. And meanwhile, in the base, Ana just dies. They drop a Ravage. Seb is going to go down. GG's called. That will do it. Um, it's, it's sort of what we were expecting once it got to that point where they were able to force the buyback on the Spectre. Um, and that one fight mid felt like it was the turning point. But really, the big thing was just Secret owning the whole time. Yeah, Secret was always ahead. There was a small window for OG to come back. 
uh, I don't think they should have taken that fight uh, and focus try to focus down the tide hunter maybe if they stalled a little bit more but the problem is you're basically playing uh,